Thirty years ago, this forest was clear-cut by an industrial timber company and then replanted with Douglas fir. Now the trees are so dense and crowding each other out that it's time to come in and thin them out so that the forest can be healthier and to make room for the trees that remain to get bigger. Along the way, this will also create better habitat for the other animals that live in the forest and provide a little bit of income to the landowner. What I see here is there's way too many trees for the site. When you look up at the crowns, you can see some of the trees are uh, have less of what we call a crown ratio, green crown ratio to the overall stem. Um, as those crowns are competing, they're sacrificing the diameter growth for height growth, and that makes the stand unstable and more susceptible to wind throw and ice damage. In a commercial thinning, the main goal is to protect what we're leaving. So it has to be a specialized contractor that understands how to finesse their way into the stand, get the trees out that need to come out and not damage the trees that we're leaving. Grew up with my dad, he was a logger, you know, our, our family business. And you go through, take a dense forest and thin it out. And, you know, a lot of people have a vision the logging is a clear cut and it's ugly when you're done. And, you know, what we do is a little bit ugly to begin with, but it, you know, the thinning heals over and, you know, looks really nice and enhances the land. The feller buncher, the machine I operate, you take the painted trees and what you're doing is trying to pick out and, you know, look for the, you know, less desirable trees or saving the crop trees. I cut the trees, lay them in bundles, the skitter comes along and grapples the bundles and it yards them in the landing to our processor. The processor is a machine on the landing that takes a tree and delims and bucks it in the logs and sorts them out accordingly for export log, stud log, pulp, the log loader in turn will load it on the truck. You know, anybody can do a clear cut, but the thinning when you're done and if you can go through and leave it looking nice and you know, not skinning up the trees and you know, that's something to be pretty proud of when you're all done. So at home, we're raising beets in one of our garden beds. And one of the ways that we grow bigger beets is to pull out every other beet once they get to a size big enough to put in the salad. And so that's kind of what we've done here. In this time of uh, climate change and hotter and drier summers, it's important to reduce the density of trees so that the remaining trees aren't competing so hard, uh, fiercely for what moisture remains in the soil. And so this thinning and the ones that will follow it are going to make it possible for this forest to make it through the changing climate that we expect in the Northwest over the coming decades. <laughs>